University of Wollongong is uniquely placed because not only do we have fabulous basic science and translational science facilities, we're also a training facility for a whole range of health professionals, particularly in medicine, in exercise science, and nursing and dietetics. And so we're a perfect environment to not just generate new ideas, but test them in the laboratory and also make sure that these ideas are taken to market. The visualisation capabilities and capacities of Molecular Horizon are leading edge. They allow very complex interactions to be visualised in spatial and temporal time, allowing us to develop real-life solutions in real time. So in mass spectrometry, you're able to identify complex mixes of molecules based upon their molecular mass. Mass spectrometry imaging advances that by then being able to visualise in space where those different molecules are. So it gives us a really powerful understanding of not only what is changing, but where. So clinicians will work at the front line of a disease. They'll understand the human interface, what is changing and what the symptoms are occurring. We can then take part of that tissue from those patients and visualize the molecular changes are happening and relay that information back to the clinicians so they can then best understand how to treat and modify these diseases. What electron microscopes allow us to do is by using electrons instead of light to visualize the samples, what then we can actually get much higher details of the molecules we're looking at. We can actually, using electrons as our light source, fundamentally be able to see things at atomic details. Our samples themselves are very, very thin. So for example, when we actually image a sample in the microscope, it's about one one thousandth of the thickness of a human hair in thickness. And then the actual molecules we look at, they're around 10 times smaller than that. If we want to actually talk about the atomic details that we're looking at, they're about one millionth of the thickness of the human hair. So proteins are, I guess you could say, kind of the workhorses in our bodies. Uh, so whenever any process needs to happen in our body, um, there's proteins involved that actually do the work. So we study how these uh, proteins work uh, when everything goes well, when there are no problems. And then once we get that full understanding, uh, we then use our microscopes to uh, study what happens when these proteins fail. And obviously we hope to come up with therapeutics to then sort of refer back to a situation where the proteins do function the way they are supposed to. Over the last six or seven years, we've been going down to Wollongong once or twice a year. And I often take a uh, postdoc and sometimes two or three graduate students with me. They work really intensively with uh, Myron's graduate students and postdocs for three or four weeks, sometimes a bit longer. Molecular Horizons has a number of technologies available. They've built up, they've made an enormous investment in this facility, the microscopy facilities, the basic biological imaging facilities are probably better than you'll find anywhere in the world. Um, they also have an excellent cryo EM facility. The technologies they've developed are really unique. It's something that we just couldn't put together anyplace else. The Molecular Horizons building was built from the ground up with the cryo-electron microscopes as the primary consideration of the building. For example, the building was built with no ferrous steel, so this is to protect it from an electromagnetic interference. The microscope rooms themselves are held very tightly in terms of temperature. They vary half a degree every 24 hours, and this is critical to keep the microscopes running in an efficient way that allows us to have high resolution information. There is so much potential in terms of where visualization can go. Right now, the techniques we use are mainly looking at individual enzyme or protein molecules. What we're working towards now is to actually look at all these different protein molecules, but actually in the context of their cellular environment. In the future, we anticipate that we will be able to raise this to levels of complexity uh, in 4D that will allow us to work within whole animals and in whole people. Therefore, we will be able to look after uh, individual patients, often with rare conditions, particularly in, say, uh, neurological developmental conditions, for which there is no current treatment or uh, diagnosis even. Uh, Molecular Horizons is a hub which allows a large and diverse cohort of students 
to see pathways into a multitude of careers post-university. For uh, people from overseas, uh, people from abroad, uh, I think it would be really a great opportunity for them to come work here at UOW and Molecular Horizons. Um, we obviously uh, have uh, the, the nice temperatures and the nice sunshine uh, and we have uh, this great community of early career researchers that really uh, come together and support each other and help each other succeed in setting up um, research academic careers. We have campuses not just in Wollongong but all down the south coast in Mossvale, the city, and also campuses in Dubai, Hong Kong and Malaysia. Our staff and student body reflect the cultural and pluralistic diversity of modern Australia. That makes me very excited.